Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Today we will be preparing a delicious baked fish. Thank you so much, Trisha Ariana, for this recipe request. Thank you for your patience. I know you've been asking forever for this recipe, and I keep forgetting to do it for you. So here we go. Finally, you're getting this recipe. Sending you big love. Thanks for all your love and support on the channel. I was looking for a whole red snapper, but for, for the thing in me, I can't find whole red snapper, okay? I, I guess it's not in season. I don't know. Anyways, we're doing it with filet red snapper, and here I have two nice pieces of filet red snapper. You can do this with whole fish too, just the, the baking time is going to be different. I'm going to go ahead and mark up this fish, like skewer it or whatever the macaw, like, you know, cut them up and, and we're going to put our seasoning into it. I have not used a fancy word. What a word, Trevor. Mark, score it, score it. Score it. Yeah, score a mark, it. Well, me a mark a fish, I have a oh. mark a fish up here. And you can do this in your air fryer too, but because you asked for a baked fish, we're going to do it, um, you know, baked fish. So I'm just marking it. I'm like the fish already have like some um, opening to it. So I'm just gonna, um, you know, follow that line. So I don't cut it up too much and the skin is on. So um, you can even do this with um, salmon, you know, but you, you got to watch the cooking time because Every fish cooks differently. Salmon is a softer fish and it cooks faster. So I'm gonna cut up on here, so I'm gonna, you know, put in the um, seasoning. I'm not cutting it all the way, just um, down to the skin. I'm not cutting it through. Say so one. Then like this dull Trevor. <laughs> I'll get you the grinder. <laughs> so now that we have it all marked up nice here, I'm gonna bring you guys in close so you can see this. So you can stop it, stop it. What our markup fish look like, I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some olive oil on this, but I'll move it to the baking pan. So, you know, everything gonna, all the seasoning gonna fall in the baking pan. I know laugh for baking pan. You need to scrub this pan. It's well seasoned. <laughs> it's Exactly, it's well seasoned. Cook better. Mm. We season, we season our baking pan, okay? So you see how we get a nice mark and everything to it. We're gonna go ahead and drizzle some olive oil to it. Organic. So go in with your olive oil on this. Yeah, baby. Be generous with your olive oil. And then you go go in with your fingers and you wanna massage it in. Rub it in. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the skin at the back. You see the skin didn't get cut. And rub shit down. It's okay if some olive oil go in the pan, you can help give it that nice crispy skin. Give me the dry spices over there. And nice to get an um, assistant in the kitchen. So this is my dry spice that I'm using. Everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience. And I'll try to put it at the end of the video. So you want to go season it up generous. Pat it in. Trisha, I hope you enjoy this recipe girl. And if you're doing a whole fish, it's the same process. You, you want to season it inside, outside, you know. Flip it over back. Like so. And then we're going to start adding our seasoning on this. And now you take your finger and you rub it in. Into all them slice and cut up what you do. Rub it in. So she's looking beautiful already. You just want to make sure it goes in to all the cuts that you do so this fish is well seasoned. So when Trevor eat the fish, you never complain that you get taste. You better season it. 
Hey, uh, who you tell better seasoning? Like you want Season some licks or what? Rub it in. You rub better it tell in. them people on the channel how you know get licks. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, take your licks and stay easy. Stay easy. You only run up your mouth here now. You can see licks when this, when this camera shut up. <laughs> it's all fun and jokes in here, guys. Okay? So nobody take it personal. Sometimes, last time I said something to Trevor and somebody take it personal. So, there. You see? That's how it should be. Now, go ahead and lick your finger. So we're, we're gonna keep this um let it rest for about maybe a 10 10 to 15 minutes that's good enough you don't have to rest this for long and um but if you're doing a whole baked fish you can stuff the inside with some thyme and stuff but that doesn't stop us to put some here so we're gonna get some other ingredients that we're gonna put to season this further imagine how much season this thing will get oh god so while our fish is resting y'all y'all is going to prepare a simply delicious cumin rice it's very very simple very easy to do you do not need a lot of ingredients you know sometimes you serve a dish and you do not want to overpower it well this is what we, we ain't overpowering this fish because it's well seasoned already and maybe i'll add some veggies to it god no what am i gonna do i haven't decided yet if i want to dash some veggies in it but um we're gonna do the rice the rice is going to pair nicely with this and it's very very simple all you need for this rice is some jira or cumin and the whole cumin we're gonna use some wuru pepper onion and garlic and it'll give you the best tasting rice you know we top it off with a little bit of cilantro towards the end and that's it you get a delicious rice to go with your fish you know so let's do that and i'm using basmati rice for this so i'll bring you in close so you can see the steps you know better rather than they're far out so let's do that let's prepare that delicious rice so here i have some olive oil heating up you can do this with butter too but i usually finish it off with butter and me know i like a oh me want a healthy recipe right so that's why i do them with a um, little olive oil and you you can do butter too if you like butter so i'm gonna go in here with make jira or make cumin and let it start infuse the oil you know, like let it get nice and toasty. That's what you're looking for. Jira is smelling very fragrant and nice. I'm gonna go in with my wiru wiru pepper, my onion, and my garlic here, and let all that start fry up nicely. Infuse the oil. Get all your thing and infuse the oil with some delicious flavor here. And for me, what makes this rice taste so good is the garlic. Like I like to put a lot of garlic in it, so. You know, it's a, it's a healthy option, right? Garlic is good for you. I Google the benefit of garlic. And you don't have to have this, you know, saute for long before you add the rice. Because this is not like fried rice where you need to parch, parch, parch the rice. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and add my washed rice. You know, I'm going to wash the rice till the water run clear. And how I like this little kitchen thing. You can drain out all the water from the rice nice. You get this like whole whole thing here. And I know I know me already, man. I measure water. I just pour in the water. And we're gonna combine this, fry this up nice. You know, you're gonna parch it a little bit here too. You keep turning everything in. And let me tell you, this rice is so satisfying, so, so delicious. I can't wait for you guys to try it. I'm going to go in with a little bit of salt here for taste, you know, to your taste and liking. I put too, too, too much, too much salt, just to your taste and liking. Me not tell you how much for put, me just tell you put salt to your taste. And you can taste your spoon right here for no if you get enough salt. Well, mainly a taste of oil. But remember the fish is well seasoned so you don't need a lot of salt here you just need a little flavor to it all right been toasting now for about five minutes i'm gonna go in and add my water to this so you know how i do it like one about half maybe half an inch over the rice to steam it nicely that is what our rice is looking like i usually go like a little bit less than an inch above the rice and that does the job perfectly what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm using a, an electric stove and i'm gonna drop the heat to low and i'm gonna let this simmer nice and slow and cook for 25 to 30 minutes about 
let's say 30 minutes we'll check it back in 30 minutes and it should cook perfectly and be loosey loosey and scatter nice nice oh, lad, me forget to tell you this part you got to cover the rice because you remember you got to secure this really well and if you think your lid is not going to secure really well go ahead and put foil paper and then lock it down but this this good man this is secure it good you know you know you're gonna hole except for this hole maybe i'll take piece of tissue and push it in here stick them in here so all the steam is trapped in there look how nice how the fish look look how nice and moist it looks it's releasing its own little juice as it sit and marinate you know so what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna go ahead and put some thinly sliced carrots because remember this fish is filleted okay so it's not going to take long to cook but if you're doing a um, bone in if you have the bone the whole fish it's going to cook for about 20 minutes. You're gonna bake it for 20 minutes. And um, this one here, I am going to do it for, and well, depending on the fish size, if you're doing the bone in, it's gonna be anyway from 25 to 30 minutes, you'll have perfectly cooked fish. But this one here, I'm going to do it for about 15 minutes. And I am gonna go ahead and put my thinly sliced carrots. If you're doing um, other sort of fish with bone in it, um, you can cut the carrots a little, you know, bit bigger than this. You know, I'm going to cut it so thin and I'm putting some bell pepper, bell pepper on it. And I'm going to do like a, um, a lemon garlic butter to drizzle on top of it. So yes, a big things that go on, Trisha. When you cook this girl, you got proper enjoy them. So, you know, you just want to spread it out so everything can um, roast nice in the oven or bake nice in the oven. And you know, I do not like my veggies to be overcooked. I like it to have a little crunch to it, but you know, it's a matter of preference. And of course, I you know me got to put a little um, thyme to this. So we're gonna spread some thyme on top of this fish. And then we're gonna drop them in the oven, the oven the preheat. Let me um, open up my thyme, thyme leaf. E baby. It's gonna roast nice in the oven. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle a little bit of olive oil to these veggies that I just put in. You know, you wanna give it a little moisture to it so it can cook. Well, it would have been nice if I open the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of mercy, boy. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on everything, you know, moisten everything, keep everything moist and nice. You don't want to put too much too because remember we're making this this nice um this nice lemon garlic butter and you wanna you know make sure it's um seasoned up with the season whatever it is this is going to be fire baby fire fire so that's all she wrote i went ahead and preheat my oven 400 degrees fahrenheit i'm gonna pop this in and i'm gonna let it bake for 15 minutes exactly or a little bit more god no i'm gonna tell you when you're done right yes how long you take so we're gonna do that part to prepare our garlic lemon butter i'm squeezing the juice of one lemon here and the lemon big big okay so we're juicing juicing it i mean i know depending on your size of lemon how big you gonna be <laughs> maybe i should measure it up for you guys I remember this thing back home. Everybody used to use it for squeeze them orange juice. But we used to not get the bottom part. I think it's just the top part. Juice it out. Let me get my little saucepan here. I'm going to heat up this. And I'm going to add one stick of butter. Yes, one stick of butter and let that melt down. This garlic to infuse in this butter nice. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and drop my garlic in there into this i am going to add some dry oregano sprinkle it in in goes some red pepper flakes pepper flakes into this baby spice it up nice give some spice eee. i about it to me and my craziness and you know you want the butter to melt down nicely but i like to add everything so you know while the butter is melting down nicely it's infusing you know really nice all that flavor all this delicious flavor is infusing nice i'm gonna put some um 
parsley in here but i'm gonna let this melt down and infuse then we're gonna add our lemon juice and our parsley and finish this up as you can see the garlic start to fry up here and that's what you're looking for i'm gonna go in and add my lemon juice to this and mix it in give it a good old mix yeah baby this is going to taste a delicious i'm gonna also add a little bit of salt here mm. and our parsley flakes well parsley and parsley flakes this our the parsley flakes and that's all she wrote here baby let this simmer for a few minutes and then we're gonna take it off the heat so go ahead and give it a good old mix let it simmer for a few minutes maybe two to three minutes and you're good i'm gonna add let me taste it though see if you get enough salt yes you can taste the thing you know i'm not gonna add any salt to this it's good because it's salted butter i use so no salt here it's been exactly 30 minutes our rice cooked for and this is what she looking like moment of truth so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of butter here, about a tablespoon of butter. This is optional, you know, you know, I got to do it if you don't want to do it because you know, all this butter and cholesterol, we got to watch it, right? So we're gonna go in and add our butter here. And look at that rice. You can tell that rice look nice and fluff. Look at she, she look good, okay? So I'm gonna go in with my butter and give this a good old mix look at that look at that look how fluff and nice this rice is perfectly cooked you can go wrong put the butter in and i'm gonna add our parsley here in goes some nice parsley or you can add some you know cilantro you can go ahead and add some um onion here um what am i saying onion scallion and that's it that's all she wrote here cover it and let all that flavor marry in there for another five minutes and you're good to go serve it up this is our finished fish look how nice it look exactly 15 minutes in the oven it's smelling great the veggies cook up nicely so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is add our garlic lemon butter we're gonna just drizzle it over nicely nice Mm. make it all more juicy you know i gotta add drizzle all the thing you know just drizzle a little bit on top and you can save some for later if you want this can you can store this um garlic lemon butter in your refrigerator anytime you prepare fish drizzle it on top so look at this are you hungry oh my goodness so i'm gonna cut into this so you guys can see what the fish is looking like we have father daughter duo taste testing atiana broke up my nice design she couldn't she wait couldn't <laughs> she broke up my rice and my things so she got you know the nice cut into the rice let's see mm, see how nice and loosey that is the fish and we gave some garlic bread look look at that mm, so yummy that's a big piece. Put a big piece in there. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Nice flavor. Nice flavor. Mm -hmm. You guys like it? Mm -hmm. Well, you can tell that. Yes. You can tell that Tiana like them. <laughs> Why so little bit of rice? I put you on a diet officially. Oh, so for presentation of the camera when i've done my load up your plate with rice <laughs> but uh, how is the rice it's nice and loose and fluffy yeah no mm -hmm. how did the flavors marry together it's good this one is mild a little more seasoned on this so they mix together okay so there you have it yeah. from my little fruit critic and her daddy um, the food critic is not talking, so you guys know when she's not talking, the food is lit. How do you say it? Um, perfecto? Like, mwah, perfecto? 
Perfection. Perfection. You hear that? So thank you guys so much for joining us in the kitchen. Trisha Ariana, I hope you enjoy this recipe, my love. Stay blessed, stay safe. See you guys soon with another delicious recipe. Bye-bye.